First official day in the books of the 2018-2019 basketball season here with second year head coach John Gross. And coach, just briefly talk to me about how the summer went, the summer workouts, and uh, from there. I, I just think, Chad, to be honest with you, we really had a great spring, summer, and fall. I saw a lot of guys improve in a ton of areas, you know, whether it's athletically, strength, how they eat, how they train, work capacity, skill level. Um, by no means have we arrived, and certainly some guys were better in those areas than some others, but I think the respect uh, for the offseason here, I thought really uh, our older guys led that charge, and I think we've really, we're really heading in the right direction because it's one of the things that we want to be known for is, hey, we work in the offseason, and we expect not only our team to get better collectively, but our individual players to get better within that. Coming out to practice today, Coach, there's a lot of new guys, new faces on, on, this, on the court here today. Just briefly talk to us about those new guys and then how you have those older guys lead these young guys. Yeah, we have so many of them. We did, we'd be here for another 10 minutes, right? Uh, a lot of newcomers, you're right. Certainly have those guys that were already here that set out last year that'll be new faces when it comes to game time. You know, whether that's Jackson, Reak, Hester, those guys are new guys, you know. Um, and then obviously we brought in a in our second year, our second recruiting class, we brought in a lot of guys as well. So we have Zerius Williams who's sitting this year to play one. We have Kadeem Gay who's sitting this year to play two. And then we got the guys who are eligible to play immediately. Uh, you know, Cheese and uh, Roscoe and Banks. And so those guys came in uh, with the class of, 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 uh, of Williams and Gay. Tolls, uh, Scott Walter, Jake Fisher's new. Um, we've got a lot of, you know, really a lot of new faces. Um, and hopefully I named them all there. but. Obviously, every guy right now, what we're trying to figure out when you have that many newcomers is try to figure out what everybody's role is going to be, what do they do really well based on what we saw summer and fall. But this is a different ball game now. You mentioned this is day one, so we go tomorrow, we go the following day. So this will be the first time we've had three practices in a row in three consecutive days since we've all been together starting in the summer when all the newcomers moved here. So you learn a lot more when you get a lot bigger sample size and you get more information. Certainly we'll have that, I think, over the next couple of weeks and then really start to hone in on getting guys to uh, not only know what their role is, but embrace their role, be an NBA all-star in that role, uh, accept, embrace, uh, and bring their A stuff to the table. We don't want anybody's FDC stuff. We want, we want A stuff. And so whatever it is that they do well, we want them to bring that on a daily basis and add value in that way. And then, Coach, November 6th will be the home opener against Cedarville right here at James A. Rhodes Arena. How do you guys, I mean, obviously it's so early in preseason, but how over the course of the next few weeks are you going to go about getting them prepared for that matchup? Very meticulous, as you could imagine. I mean, we've got a calendar of what days we're practicing, what days we're off, what we're putting in on day one of the 30 days we're allowed, what we're putting in on day five. And obviously we adapt that and change as we move forward throughout. If we feel like we're ahead of where we want to be, we'll be a little more inclined to add something. If we feel like we're behind, we'll pump the brakes. You know, but we do. We have a plan. Um, that we, that we uh, have, have devised for this team based on where we're at right now that we think gives us the best chance to be competitive and win basketball games. And so over the course of the 30 days, our goal is to get all those things in so that we're prepared uh, on opening night when we play Cedarville on November 6th. Appreciate your time, Coach. And fans, tickets will go on sale October 1st, so make sure you go to gozips.com tickets for Chad Welker and the Zips Digital Network. Go Zips.